worst I have ever seen. You are bad. You're a bad girl, and you deserve nothing. Yes, you are. All right, let's let's, let's all be happy now. Get me the fuck home. You're scaring her when you yell. Oh, I'm scared. She's scaring the shit out of me. She's a nightmare. How the fuck did we produce such a nightmare? She's the worst child I've ever seen. Well, saying something like that makes It's like, what the fuck? Just shut the fuck up. He had accused a, um, I believe it was a selectman candidate in some some kind of rich, I believe, South Coast town. I can't remember where it was. His name was Luke Noble. So he accuses him of molesting his own daughter. And what he sources is a divorce deposition, <laughs> which is, I mean, I'm sorry, that's a red flag right there, right? A divorce deposition. Um, people say all sorts of things when they're getting divorced. I know. I was a child of divorce, and my parents' divorce was disgustingly contentious. And there were lots of accusations thrown around. But he he somehow gets his hands on this otherwise sealed divorce, um, you know, divorce deposition uh, that, you know, obviously involves minors. So it's not public knowledge, but he somehow gets it right before the, uh, right before the election. Imagine that. And he accuses this guy of molesting his daughters. Now, what he neglects to report is that that accusation was made during the divorce. It was investigated by a GAL, Child Protective Services, and the courts. It was found to be completely incredible. Luke Noble was actually awarded custody of all of his children, and a DCF case was opened on the mother for coaching them, right? But he still continues to label this guy as a child molester. That's a problem. That's a problem. That well, should be easy to solve in court. Well, I mean, yes, but... This is something else that Aiden often relies on too. Well, time is going to be on your side in that aspect because when they when you look back over the time period and emphasize that before the the courts, they're going to say, "Well, you can't take that back," type of thing, right? And if he still can, you know, is he or isn't he actually? Do you know? I'm sorry. Is he or isn't he a pedophile? No, he's not. No, for real? No, I I, I have actually physically seen the outcome of that court case. I have physically. A negative. He was yeah. awarded custody of his children. Completely debunked. Hmm. Yeah. And the reason that I've seen it is because I went and asked. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I, I spoke to his attorney and I, I went and asked. Um, so, I mean, that was just absolutely. And the timing of it was suspicious, right? Because it's right before an election. And I, I think one of the things he had sourced was a video where he loses it on one of his kids and says, like, shut up, you're a terrible child or something. He loses it on his kid. It, it's a, obviously an incident that, number one, was in a vacuum. People do lose it on their kids. Believe it or not, it does happen, right? <laughs> like, um, And it was something that was a little bit suspicious towards the ex-wife because she was advantageously surreptitiously um, recording at the time. And she goes, okay, let's all be happy now as the father's losing it. It looks kind of like it was orchestrated in a way, but he uses that as a instance of child.